What is up, Roz, and welcome back. It's that time of the year again where I get to go into customs and run around for hours so that I can show you the most random hidden changes in Operation Deadly Omen. You know, just the most important things that you absolutely need to know about, like how the lion scan is now higher on your screen when you activate it, and Doc's new questionable noises when he stims himself now. What the f Now, there are a lot of funny changes in this season, but there are so many cool changes also that are known, like the reticle thickness and the operator nerfs. So I also threw those in this video so that you can see a side-by-side -side comparison, and then that'll also help me hit the 8-minute video mark so I can make twice as much as if it was just a 7-minute video. Keep in mind that this is just the test server, so anything in this video is subject to change. But without further ado, let's get into the first one. The first random unannounced change that I noticed right away when I was running around was how when you break glass now it's now transparent and honestly it kind of looks like a little spider web logo kind of like Jaeger's on the current build when you break glass it can actually hide your face and people can use it for spawn peaks this one on coastline was my favorite but after the new season comes out you're not gonna be able to do this anymore Another random thing that was patched is you can no longer get onto the railing on the layer by getting onto the toolbox and then walking the edge to see into sight. This was a disgusting angle and we are no longer going to be able to do it, at least for now. Another random change is anytime you jump through barricades, you're kind of like dashing through it. It's almost like a fast oryx charge. I guess it makes a little bit more sense now. You're kind of leading with your forearm, breaking the door. You're no longer just kind of like vaulting it. And yes, I know you're staring at Mozzie ACOG right now, but give me a few seconds. We're going to go over it. So yeah, unfortunately, about four hours after I recorded that clip with Mozzie ACOG, an update came on the TTS and they took ACOGs away on Mozzie. Unfortunately, they didn't give it to Valks MPX, but the good thing is, Doc does still have it. So as soon as you download the new build, the first thing that you are going to notice is that when you go to press play, you are going to have a new intro screen while launching the game and Ubisoft Connect intro screen when you first initially press play. The most game breaking change that we have is after you start the game, you're going to see that the lines have now changed on the warning please read before playing menu. You can see the streaks in the background have now been kind of shifted around. I don't know, I don't know how the game is going to survive anymore. The next thing that you're most likely to notice when you first jump on the new season is that when you go over to the operator tab, we actually got a rework for the visualization and type of layout that they do for attackers and defenders. Because it's basically more of like, like a catalog type of look. And you can also filter. You can filter by just the Intel ops and it's gonna highlight them. Anti-gadget, it's gonna go and highlight them again. Then for defenders, we also have new filters. We got Trapper, Intel, Anti-gadget, Support, anti-entry and crowd control now on top of that anytime that you go and you hover over an operator it's going to put their specialties on the bottom right for example i'm hovering over echo right now his specialties are intel and crowd control now another hidden change with the operator menu is before when you would go and you hover over different operators they would basically just have a preset gun that they were always holding well, for example on the current build when you have jaeger he's always going to be carrying a shotgun Whereas now you can see I currently have his 416 carbine equipped. And so when I back out or click on him, he has his 416. Depending on the gun that your operator has equipped, they actually will change their menu pose. So you can see right here, I have the AUG equipped for Cade right now. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put the TCS G12 on. It's pose slightly different. Small change to the reputation tab where we can now see that the bonus alpha pack reward UI has changed. So over here, you can come down on the bottom right, the bonus alpha packs coming soon earn points towards alpha packs for each match played with an esteemed or exemplary standing this next change is something that gustus noticed right away see if you can spot it i have it paused right here leave it down below if you found it now another change is if you go into the locker room you can actually go down here and see what your new items are that you got contains up to your 50 most recently acquired items you can press on this and see exactly what you got last obviously i got two of the best skins in the game recently 
Schwarzy just sent me this one, and it's how that when you drive a drone, only in the prep phase by the way, on the meeting terrace by Nighthaven Labs hatch, there is an invisible block over the hatch. You can actually jump your drone and drive up on top of this thing, and once the preparation phase ends, you can actually drive it normally on the hatch. But as of right now, in the prep phase, there is an invisible box covering the hatch. What do you think this is for? Now, a really cool, just random quality of life change is that in the aiming lane, they actually tilted the screen so that you can basically stand anywhere in the aiming lane to see targets and still have access to the menu and change the settings. Before, it was laying flat on the wall and it was like kind of awkward. You literally had to like go and stand in front of the TV in order to change the settings. So this is a cool random one. Now, we got some changes to the reticles. I screenshotted all of them. I'm going to put them quickly side by side just so you can see them. Basically, they increased the middle dot size of the hollow A, the hollow C, the red dot C, the magnified A, and then they reduced the middle dot size on the hollow B and the magnified C. A nerf that a lot of people didn't catch, even though it was in the patch notes, is with Finca and how the weapon reload speed increase bonus has been removed. They also did put a quick note that it clears the shield suppressive fire debuff, which reduces its effect by 50% if applied while affected by the adrenal surge. There was an LMG nerf to make sure that people are not ash rushing with LMG ACOGs for entry anymore and basically movement speed has been reduced by 10%. Now I went in with Finca who's a 2 armor 2 speed and you can see that Fuse who's a 3 armor 1 speed is basically the same speed now with the LMG. And then when you ADS it is even more crazy. Look how fast the 3 armor 1 speed finishes the ADS walk before the 2 armor 2 speed. Here's a quick comparison of the new laser. So basically they removed the hip fire bonus for lasers and then they added a 10% ADS speed bonus, which is pretty important because they did slow down the ADS speed universally across all weapons. Here's a quick comparison of the new angled grip. They removed the ADS speed bonus from the angled grip and then they added a 20% reload speed bonus. Doesn't make sense realistically, but for the video game terms, you guys gotta know about this change. Now finally, the new grip, which is the horizontal grip. The none option is now called horizontal grip, and all it does is it adds a 5% movement speed bonus. Now here's the vertical grip nerf. Basically all they did was they lowered the bonus to 20% vertical recoil control from 25%. So just a 5% nerf, I do still think that this is going to be the most popular grip. they normalized and simplified all ADS curve transitions. The fast category has handguns, revolvers, and shotguns. The medium category has marksman rifles and sniper rifles. And then the slow category has machine pistols, SMGs, assault rifles, LMGs, and slug shotguns. Now, Nomad is the only other operator with the AK, right? And if you guys follow small details, she's actually missing a finger, and so she reloads and pulls the charging handle to make up for missing that finger. Now, with Deimos, he actually got the same reload animation, even though he's not missing a finger. So, cool random little detail. Maybe a bug? All right, we're finally at it. More game-breaking hidden details. Now, Lion Scans are gonna overlap the round count at the top of your screen. Pray for Siege. Now, when you fall from great heights, your character literally just freezes up and stops moving. You can see in the comparison, partway down, the animation of like the moving the gun forward just freezes midair and then you just freeze and fall. On border, the wall between armory lockers and archives can actually be reinforced into two now. I don't know if this is a good change or not, or a mistake because the one directly left of it is the same size and it's still just one panel. Maybe this will give more customization options to shoot in the fountain. A similar thing happened in the main hall right outside of the office door and this one can shoot all the way through break out the door. So interesting angle. I'll be curious to see if there's more variations with these in the future. But yeah, overall, there wasn't a whole ton this season, but I thought that some of these comparisons and hidden changes were pretty interesting. So just wanted to share those with you. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you all. Peace.